For the crowds filling the street here and across the U.S., a sign their demands are being heard. I filed an amended complaint that charges, that charges former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin with murder in the second degree for the death of George Floyd. For Officer Derek Chauvin, who was seen with his knee on George Floyd's neck, the charge was increased from third degree murder to second degree, alleging Floyd's death was intentional. And seeing that our voices make a difference, they are listening to us, they see what we're asking for and they're and they doing what we're asking for, arrest those three officers. And they were. Minnesota's attorney general announced charges for the involvement of the other three officers in Floyd's fatal arrest. Uh, filed a complaint that charges uh, police officer King, Lane, and Tao with aiding and abetting murder in the second degree. For Floyd's family, it was the justice they've been demanding. I am happy that all the officers have been arrested. My father has not been killed like this. We deserve justice. One nation. One love. One nation. One love. But for many, it is just the beginning. George Floyd's family and the protesters have achieved their short-term objectives, but their long-term goals are systematic change. They're here today for George Floyd, so they don't have to be here tomorrow for someone else. As one city after another across the U.S. rebuilds from fire and rebellion in the streets, a Floyd family lawyer says changing a system that allows the killing of one unarmed African American after another will take time. The protesters did not start these fires to burn it. It was police brutality and a racist criminal justice system that started these fires burning in America. And the only way to extinguish these fires is to have police accountability and equal justice for all. Minnesota's governor has begun by charging Minneapolis police with human rights violations, triggering an investigation into racist practices that goes back 10 years. The message is now in, here in Minnesota for the last five days, come back to the issue at hand, which is the systemic issues and the systemic racism and the lack of accountability uh, up and down our society that led to a daytime murder of a black man on a street in Minneapolis. At the George Floyd Memorial site, many say the charges against four police officers won't bring protests to an end. They just show why the demonstrations need to continue. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Minneapolis.